So here's something very interesting. Comet, do you want to try to say that? I, <laughs> I don't either. No. <laughs> no, no. There's a comet. It starts with a T. Yes, Comet T dash Atlas. There we go, um, Comet T. Anyways, so there's uh, this comet that uh, has an 80,000 year orbit uh, basically around the Earth and our solar system. And this, this weekend, it's making its closest pass. It's at perihelion, we call it, with the sun. So it's closest pass by our sun. Um, and so scientists and astronomers think that we may be able to catch a glimpse of this comet um, in the early morning hours, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So very low on the southeast horizon. And it's, it may not look quite as bright and distinct as it does in our graphic there. We hope it does. Um, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? It would be nice. If we can get rid of the cloud cover. Yes. A bit. Um, but they're calling it a, a, a rare opportunity for a naked eye comet. In other words, like a, a comet that can be seen with the naked eye. So if you have a clear view of the southeast horizon, it's going to be just a few degrees above the horizon. So you really need to see the whole thing. Um, I will try to go see that because it is cool when you can actually see it and not just take a picture and it's like, oh, there it is. It really Because exactly. a lot of my Aurora experiences have been very much like mm -hmm. take the picture and you don't really see it in person with yeah, the naked eye. Absolutely. Yeah, this is a rare chance and we'll have to see. We'll get a better idea, obviously, tomorrow. Uh, you know, if we're going to be able to scientists, it, the comets are tricky. Like, being able to see them, it, it doesn't take, it's, they're, they can be blurry and of course it's right. many, many million miles away. So. But the hope is, is that for several days, and you have to get up, this is right before sunrise each morning. So okay. Friday through Monday morning, uh, if you get up a half hour or an hour before sunrise, again, clear view of the southeast horizon. If you have no clouds, uh, there's a pretty good shot at this. Ooh, I'm gonna give it a chance. What do you, I mean, when you think about it, what a year for astronomical oh events gosh. around here. Oh gosh, you can't top I mean, the eclipse. So. The solar eclipse, the <laughs> northern light, probably the best northern light show we've yeah. seen in decades. Oh, that was awesome. Um, we even had a couple of meteor showers in there and now maybe a comet. And, and one of the, there was one picture from that time period from um, the meteor showers and the auroras. It was all in one shot. Somebody got oh, yes. a shooting star, um, the auroras, and uh, then I think two of the planets were visible, yes. like Venus and and Jupiter Insane. were visible and all in the one shot. I think yeah. I believe it was on the South Shore. Yeah, that um, that I remember that picture. Um, that's something that just may never happen I again. Mean, and incredible. Yeah.